everybody, it's Michelle here. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today, I'll be talking about a driver and hope that this video will be able to help you to control this big guy better. My goal is to be able to help you to swing the club with a square club face, hitting it consistently on the sweet spot, on a good swing plane with a good rhythm, and you also can swing it as fast as you want as long as you're in control, okay? I get a lot of people telling me that I want to hit the driver far, which is true because it's our natural instinct that we want to hit the driver far. During my amateur times, I used to walk up to the tee and hit it as hard as I can, Don't, not to worry where is it going to go because the golf course are a lot shorter during my amateur tournament times. So when I'm in the trees or um, in the rough, I'm also quite close to the green, about 80 to 100 meters, so somewhat I would get away with it. But when I start playing professional tournaments, the golf course is a lot longer, so I realized that it's really important for me to hit the driver more consistent and more control. So I can place the ball where I want it to be and it will help me to approach the green a lot better. All right guys, we're gonna move into the technical part of the driver. So I get a lot of people asking me if the iron swing and the driver swing is the same swing. I would say it's pretty much the same swing. It's just that the irons were hitting more on a downward motion and the driver were hitting more on an upward motion. So it's really important that you set up correctly. Okay, so before I get into the posture and everything, I would like to talk about how high we should tee it up, okay? So how high we should tee up the ball? I would like for you to tee it up half the ball above the club head. So somewhat like that, something like that, about half ball, okay? Why is it important to tee it up correctly? Because everyone hits the sweet spot differently, so you have to make sure that you practice once in a while to check out what is the perfect height for you. So in general, if you tee it up too low, which is the ball below the driver head, you will tend to hit it down, which means it's very hard to get the ball up in the air. And of course, you might start hitting it a little bit outside in, okay? But then, if you tee it up a little bit too high, all right, you might start hitting under, skying the ball, or trying to shallow the swing path to compensate for it. All right, I'm going to move into the setup for the driver. I got the ball set up the height I want it to be. And of course, I have my seven iron laid on the ground for me to check the ball position and also the width of my stance. So first of all, I want you to grip the club like normal. Make sure the club face is square. Now I'm going to place the club head right behind the ball. Okay, with my feet together, make sure the shaft is straight. Okay, now I'm going to start off with my left foot. I would like for you to open your left foot just about a ball, a golf ball wide, and then open my right foot just right outside my right shoulder. So at this position, you see the ball is somewhat set up inside my left heel, okay? From this position, we have to make sure the club, the shaft is not leaning forward or behind. Just make sure it's straight and straight out my left arm, okay? So with the ball forward, it's going to help us to hit it more up on the golf ball because the ball is forward in my stance so i'm going to set up with a slight tilt okay so how are you going to get the good tilt is i would like for you to hold the driver with your left hand left hand grip only make sure your setup is square right shoulder everything is square and then i would like for you to tilt to your right side until your right hand reaches the grip okay so it's going to look like that So you're going to tilt, your right hand is going to reach the grip like that. So you can see that I'm tilted slightly to my right side, okay? At this position, the weight is still about 50-50, or even though it's 55 on the left leg, it's still okay, all right? So this will be a good setup position. At this position, you will also find yourself and your head slightly behind the golf ball. All right, now how far we should stand away from the ball, okay? So when we get to a good setup position, we know that for the irons, I would like for your armpit, your knees, and the balls of your feet to be in one line. So it's the same thing for the driver, but it's just that I would like for you to stretch the arms out a little bit more, okay? So in this setup position, 
So if irons, it's going to be somewhat arms hanging straight down, but for the driver, I would like for you to stretch out your arms a little bit more so you can create more space and so you can swing it freely as well. All right, when we get the distance from the ball sorted out and a good setup position, just before you hit the ball, I would like for you to point both toes a little bit outwards so you can turn the hips and the body better and keep your body more stable as well. Because we're making such a big swing, it's really important that you can control yourself and also staying stable at all times. Okay, I'm going to summarize what we talked about today. So first of all, we make sure that we teed up the ball, just half a ball above the driver head, but it could be different for other people. So just test it out and find the height that suits you best, okay? Okay, where we get the ball teed up nicely. So have the club face square, set up right behind the ball, both feet together. I would like for you to open the left foot just about the ball wide, right foot outside my right shoulder. So this will get the ball set up somewhat inside your left heel. Make sure the left arm is straight, body tilt to the right with a square shoulder. All right, both toes point out. Have your weight about 55% on the left side, 45 on the right side, or even though it's 50-50, it's okay as well. All right, this will be a good setup position.